Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across an issue with no sound coming out of the media player on Windows 11. So this is basically a rebranded Groove Music. It does videos and music. So that's the main distinguishing feature between the two. And so that's the main difference. And anyway, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve that without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. First thing I recommend doing is making sure your audio is turned on in your system tray. So make sure it is on and your system is not muted. You also, if you're using external speakers, make sure that they are powered on as well. So if they are powered off, make sure you turn them on. Or if there's an issue with the connection, make sure you get that resolved. Because that could certainly be a reason why you're not hearing any audio coming out of your computer. So if you've tried that and you're still having a problem, we can go open up the search menu and type in media player. One of the best matches should say media player. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to make sure that the volume icon in here is turned up as well. Make sure it's not muted like this with the little X next to the speaker. You want to make sure you turn it up. And you can also click the little speaker icon where it says unmute if you want it to unmute it. But I would still recommend turning it up. And if you're still having a problem, one further thing we can try as well if we open up the search menu. Type in apps and features. Best result, check on back of apps and features. Go ahead and open that up. You want to go in the apps list field here and type in media player. Best match, check on back with media player. Select the three dotted icon next to it and then select advanced options. Scroll down and where it says reset, if this app isn't working right, we can try to repair it. The apps data won't be affected. Select the repair button. And then I would recommend trying to relaunch the app. And if you're still having a problem, you can try and reset it. So if the app still isn't working right, reset it. The app's data will be deleted. So go ahead and select the reset button. And then this will permanently delete the app's data on this device, including your preferences and sign in details. Select reset. And then once that's done, you want to go ahead and close out of here and then restart your computer. And hopefully at this point, you should be good to go. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.